that you guys are on an SNL lady uh, text chain. Is this true? We do chat with one another a lot. Okay, really? what is it like to be on that text chain? It's great because we, 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 we've- There's we're laughs, just, advice. And... There's laughs and advice and a lot of common experience, which I think is sort of, a, it's a weird sorority that we're in. So it's nice to sort of have that shared experience um, stay relevant in and, and our grown up lives. Can I ask, like, I mean, this morning, Chris Miller, my partner of 20 years, he was filming in the hallway to get to your name plaque and talk about Debbie Downer. You know, I mean, it's like, what is your favorite character and memory for both of you from SNL? I, I had another thought when you said that, when you're talking about Debbie Downer. It is amazing, like, I, I was watching a movie with my son that was uh, filmed in Australia, like, I don't know, three or four years ago, and out of the blue, in the movie, in Australia, this little, like, little-known film, the guy goes, okay, D.B. Dana, about somebody. And it was like, to know this person that created this character that saturated culture so much that an Australian film would have, like, a, you know, casual reference to D.B. Dana was, like, <laughs> it, it, it's an amazing thing. But I'm like, I, it's wild that it's the same person. Or, like, we talk about, like, Tina and mom jeans or, like, these sort of vernacular moments that are part of our bigger culture. How did you come up with that? It's not a hilarious well, story. <laughs> well, well I was I was on a trip and the, and somebody like that I didn't know like we, there was this chit chat happening and someone asked a really downer question and then I, I sort of filed it away and then then it just popped into my head and then I wrote it with Paula Pell yeah and um, who was amazing and first we were trying to write we said it in an office it just wasn't really flowing and then we we're like wait we have to put this like somewhere really really happy so we said it at Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> and Anna, what is your favorite character and memory from SNL? It's I don't uh, I guess I, I guess it would be the music teachers with with Will. Oh, I think yes. we, just in terms of like oh, again, I didn't know if you were going to say like oh, you yeah. and Molly and doing and and NPR. Yeah. NPR. Very close, NPR. very close uh, contest between NPR. Yeah. In terms of just I like working and I like collaborating and working with other people. Yeah. But I would say the we, the music teachers just like in terms of the inside lore of SNL, like we would start that sketch at earliest at 6 a.m. on Wednesday morning. And it was just like finals week in high school, you know, like just, or in college, where it was just like, we gotta, we, we should start. But wait, let me just tell you one more thing. <laughs> oh my like, God, that just is like, me and hair and makeup yeah. with everyone every morning. So we, we would laugh until we were like blue in the face about not things relevant to the, to the sketch, and then we would write the sketch and laugh oh. that hard. And then performing it was always fun too. Thank you for what you both do, you guys. Seriously. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Because it's my favorite one of the day. Well, here, I, I, I'm obsessed with this. You know, it's up, up, and away on Love Cloud. I'll explain. The New York Times reports that's the name of a new private flight service that lets you officially join the Mile High Club. Wow. Yep, for the low price of 90, so gross. $995, you get 45 minutes in the air with a twin <laughs> mattress covered in satin sheets. And then when the deed is done, you just walk away with an official Mile High Club certificate signed by the pilot who, by the way, will just be in the cockpit. Yeah. <laughs> The whole time with a curtain, wearing noise-canceling no. headphones. Can you guys believe? No. What are your thoughts immediately? Well, it's obviously oh, no, Rachel. The, I picture like maybe fifth, maybe like eighty percent of these is some guy like, look what I got for us, and the woman's like, oh, I thought we were going somewhere fun. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, I thought they were going on a vacation, uh -huh. and then like, no, you're just going up in the sky oh, it's for some, a quickie. Some, some nasty <laughs> silk sheets. Nasty. Somebody else. No, I don't know. What do you think? Am I, well, I, I being a prude here? No, well, you get 45 minutes in the air, but I wonder what you do with the last 41 minutes. 